what is up? So I am in Auckland Airport currently on my way to the Taekwondo World Cup in Slovenia. So this is the first stop, so I flew from Nelson to Auckland. I didn't get any of the stuff in the airport filmed because I was in a rush and I had to put, yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff I had to do. So I just got the GoPro set up now and I'll be vlogging my adventure and hopefully it should be a pretty sick video. So hope you guys enjoy. Found a McDonald's. Let's go. The Maccas was good. Now we're in the international departures section. Got through security nicely. Didn't get arrested, which is great. So I'm going to find my gate now. And then from there, I guess, just wait till boarding time, which is at 5.25. And flight takes off at 6.10. And that is to Dubai. So yeah, see you later. I think Auckland Airport is big once till I get over. Hmm. I wonder if that's my plane over there. Emirates. Yeah, it seems really big, but then when you get overseas, it's like, okay, this is actually tiny. <laughs> Just gotta figure out what gate I'm in. So then I'll either have to go that way or somewhere down there. Oh, look what I found. One of the moving floor things. So when you're lazy and can't be bothered walking, you just stand in one spot and you just move. Magic. Look at the view. Pretty sure that must, yeah, because I'm in gate 16. You can see the 16. Might have to zoom in, Jesse. There's a 16 over there. So I reckon that big one is plane is mine. You must go immediately to gate eight. Let's go. That is a chonky plane. Yep, there it is. Oh my goodness, it's huge. The GoPro doesn't do it justice, but it's absolutely massive. Unnecessarily massive. Look at how big that is. It's insane. Oh, look how high up it is. Like you can see a little man down there. And my gate opens in five minutes. So I'm gonna head over to the gate so that I can board my plane. Look how empty it is though. It's like massive. But there's like no one in here. It's really weird. About to board the plane. Just got my passport scanned, so we're all good to go. See if we walk past a window and can give you guys a view outside. Okay. We made it in. I'm in an aisle of three. One, two, three. We get a blanket. So headphones. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Captain Todd Miles from the flight deck. Phone. Joining me is Captain Steve and the senior first officer Danny. We did it. We're in Dubai. I don't know, somewhere in, I don't even know. I can't tell you where it is, but it's, look on the map. Jesse put something in, but <clears throat> I'm in Dubai. So I had to take a 10 hour flight from Auckland airport. Then we stopped off in Kuala Lumpur, which is in Malaysia. And that was like an hour, because I had to refuel. And then uh, it was another six hours to Dubai. And they have these moving escalator things in the airport. For lazy people because the airports are so huge so it makes it really good to get places so yeah keep you updated so i just need to find somewhere to charge my phone and then i need to find an information desk or something on one of those flight boards so that i can figure out where my gate is and then i have like three hours before i need to board my next flight which is to venice and that'll be like a four five six hour flight i'm not too sure so i'll see you guys later they have these cheats to get around the place. Look at all the people, it's insane. So that video that I just um, filmed was the security check. <clears throat> so you walk up to the thing, um, there's these boxes you gotta put your bag and all your stuff in. 
and you gotta walk through the metal detector and then your bag also goes through and I was all good with that and then I had to look at this board just over there find my flight time and figure out what gate I'm at and it's a B gate so B down that way and then it'll be up the stairs over there sweet as so my gate's B31 there's B14 and stuff down that way and it's like B18 this way so I'm guessing it increases this way so I gotta go this way I think I found it B17 to B32 so as we go this way we just take a look look how look, how, look at the roof absolutely massive that's the downstairs upstairs and it just keeps going Massive, massive, massive. So that's the McDonald's, kind of pathetic, not gonna lie, for such a big airport. But I'd guess there's probably like three or four or five in here, so not a surprise. Look how good these burgers look though. Yum. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a kid. <laughs> Show you guys around a bit. So my gate's just over there, B31 down that end. And then this is just how huge it is. So there's like an Nutella shop over there, cafe. And then like, the roof is huge. And like, it doesn't look like it's that big. And that thing goes on for hundreds and hundreds of meters, just on and on and on. I'll just film some random stuff for you. GC probably make a montage. Everyone's favorite, the food shop. There's like different sections of chocolate. They have like Kit Kat, Snickers, Bounty, Toblerone. As you can see. A bit hungry so we'll get food on the plane and I'll be boarding about an hour but um, I would like some Maccas you know just to keep me going for a bit yeah okay there's actually a giant queue here so maybe I should go somewhere else I just don't know really where to go it's just too big and I don't know what's cheap and what's what but I might end up just waiting in the queue I don't know we'll see Tribute to Cody. Where does Burj Khalifa go? Um, oh, there it is. Merry Christmas, Cody. Mwah. Got me lunch. Mm. Phone charging, Coca Cola. This is the airport. Yeah. Boarding and like opens in half an hour. And that's a flight to Venice, so it should be pretty mean. 
I'm in a window seat this time, so I'm going to die. Luckily, I had an aisle seat last time, so I just had my legs out tripping people up the whole 16 hours. That was pretty good. But this time, it's going to be suffering, so I'm going to see if I can swap seats with someone or something. I don't even know. We'll figure it out. Love you guys. Hope you're going safe. I just walked through that gate thing. On the other side, they scan my boarding pass and passport and stuff. And now I'm into the boarding area. So they'll be calling my flight pretty shortly. So yeah, and that's to Venice. It'll be about six hours. And then from there, it's a bus to Slovenia, where my hotel is. And then I got to do a lot, whole bunch of stuff there. So I'll try show you guys as much as I can. And yeah, see you guys when I see you. Sorry? I think it's not common. Yeah, it's, it's Russian. Okay. Because like, oh, like, I follow New Zealand cricket. Oh, yeah. yeah. They don't have that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Well, my mum is Ukrainian, so... that I had really long legs and asked if the seat in front, this one, was free because there's lots of leg room and thankfully it was. So big ups to him and yay we got leg room. So that's the thingy and that just got pulled away. And then look how like massive the jets are. There's a train over there. We're living the good life. Six hour flight. Yeah. to Venice. Woo! Not really much you can see from here but just walking up the runway and I'll update you with more info soon. So I had to wait a bit to um, get my bag. It took a while for it to come off the machine and I got a bit worried but no we're all good with that. And then I had to withdraw 
euros from the ADM machine. That took a bit of effort. Um, I clicked the wrong thing the first time and was really confused because like nothing, it didn't print out the money and it just gave me back my card. I was like, what? So I let a lot of people go and then I did what they did and then it gave me the money, so that's all good. And then I found this lady who was like, got her sign and because we're getting on a bus and then going to the hotel for registrations and stuff so i'm just waiting by this exit for her and a couple of other people and then we'll be on the bus to slovenia can't wait it's going to be great fun <laughs> So we're in a five-star hotel right now for the registrations. Um, still trying to find it, but where we need to go. But that's what it looks like, look like inside the sea out there. Um, yeah. And to get here, it was like a three-hour bus ride from the airport, which was horrible, but you know, we made it. We're surviving, barely. So we we're waiting for buses or whatever, you know, outside the hotel. And then it's like the one came and the, the taxi thing came and these guys got in that I was waiting with. And then I asked someone else, like, oh, where are you going? I was like, and then I told him I was going to which hotel I was going to because there's like five in this area. And then the guy's like, oh, that's just really close. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I looked it up on Google Maps and it's literally like a five minute walk. So I'm like, screw taxi. So I'm walking now. You can see the sign just through there, hotel history on. So I'm here now, been a bit stressful, but we're getting there. Um, update you guys on my room later. Catch you later. some dinner because I haven't eaten in a while and I feel sick and I have a really bad headache so it's going great. Fancy ass. Alright, let's go see what it's up. Had even more troubles at the reception because they um, for some reason thought that I wasn't supposed to be here until tomorrow and I'm like, well where am I supposed to stay then? But showed them some stuff and they got it sorted and then it took me a while to find my room and then it took me a while to figure out how to open the door because it's just so weird and then they have this thing here that you, I, that, and I thought you just scanned your card on it because I was trying to figure out how to turn the lights for ages so I thought scan this and you can finally turn on like the light switches but no so I just scanned it and I was lying in bed and then the lights just turned off twice so then I realised you actually have to put it in here so that the lights stay on and then you take your card with you when you leave the room I'm a genius but yeah so bathroom For some reason you can look out into your bedroom if you'd like. I got myself a TV, a double bed all to myself, there's my suitcase, a um, little wee couch, could do my makeup here tomorrow morning, and this is the outside. There'll be a bit of you tomorrow but you can already just see Get a glimpse of what it's like. It's 7:30 p.m. by the way, so yeah. And all the boats down there. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go get my dinner now, and then I will update you guys later with some stuff. Bye. No, 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 no. We're off. Got my card. This light should automatically turn off. Got my phone. Let's go. Oh, actually, no, should be right. Okay. Restaurant, that way. Oh, I hate this. Turn 
many car doors. Might be something down there. Alright, I'll keep you guys updated. I don't really know if I should be filming every week, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can find it. So this is my first helping. Uh, it's a buffet, so we got like <coughs> trying out some fishies, scallops, fish fillet down there, chicken kebab, potatoes. Yeah, should be pretty good. Go back for seconds later.